Hello and welcome to another video. This was a quick question that I got in a YouTube comment on a previous video, which is, uh, I noticed there's this difference on Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, Python installs things into disk packages instead of site packages, and what is up with that? And so I've come to show you that and explain it. So let's jump into it. So first off, I wanted to show uh, where packages get installed on Ubuntu. I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 and I have the default Python 3 installed. I have a bunch of other Pythons installed, but we're talking today about the Python 3 that ships with uh, the operating system. And you'll notice that it installs its packages into user lib Python 3 disk packages. And you'll notice there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, and these are all packages that are installed to support things uh, at the operating system level. So, for instance, you can see there's a lot of like uh, apt-related packages because there are parts of apt, the installer for packages, that are written in Python. Uh, and the disk packages folder is where the system package manager for Ubuntu, apt, aptkit, dpackage, etc., installs its packages to, installs its Python packages to. Uh, normally, this directory where you install packages is called site packages. And if we look inside this virtual env that I created before the, the stream, uh, you'll see that inside of vmv lib python version site packages, which, you know, this directory structure loosely matches the one inside user, but, you know, it's a different prefix, and so it's slightly different. Uh, this one uses site packages. This is the standard way that Python installs packages into directories. Now, the reason, uh, or the, the primary reason, according to the documentation as to why this was chosen, and for, for sake of documentation, I'm looking at the Python wiki page on the Debian uh, wiki. And the reason that this claims the disk packages is to make sure that they stay separate from system packages, system installed packages, and packages that are installed using a custom built Python from source, uh, which would automatically install things into site packages. So it's, it's just one way that Debian tries to isolate their system packages from packages that a user might install in user space. Now, of course, it's actually not in user space because you would need sudo to modify, you know, user lib, but I digress. Uh, there is one other change that Debian does as well with their pip installer, and that is they install packages instead of into user lib, they will install packages into user local lib. Uh, and this is again to keep things more separate. On Debian systems, the user prefix is supposed to be only managed by the package manager, and nothing else should write into that directory. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this answered that question. If you guys have additional stuff you want to see, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.